You know, we've been doing way too many episodes about rap projects. We need to really get something in here cool that we can build and show how we build stuff. Enough with the sticker boys. Oh, he said sticker boys. <laughs> Yes, I know. I feel you. Exactly right. How about we build a massive project that tests the limits of this new facility? I like it. I like it. All right. All right. How about two giant blade signs for Marriott hotels that are going to go downtown Orlando 50 feet in the air? Ooh, do we have to wrap anything? Well, yeah, we're going to wrap it in aluminum and LEDs. All right. Sounds good to me. You like that? Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. So just a little bit of background about this project. This is gonna be a really cool one again too. It's uh, real high end, real iconic. We're gonna get a lot of exposure off of this deal. It's AC Hotels and it's uh, one of Marriott's 30 plus different brands. There are 159 locations of AC Hotels in the world. And this is the first one here in Orlando. So what this one is, and this is why it's so important to us, is that this is this massive, crazy building here in downtown Orlando. Big glass structure directly on I-4. And our signs now, these, we're gonna be making these two blade signs on the side of the building. And the one blade sign is a secondary one. It goes on this side of the building and it's five feet wide by 30 feet tall. And the top of it is gonna be 50 feet in the air. And then on the the main side that's facing I-4 here, that's the bigger blade sign, and it's 10 feet wide by 30 feet tall, also 50 feet to the top of it. There's also a monument sign that's going out in front of the place. It's about a six foot by 10 foot double-sided monument sign. But of course, these blades are going to be the, uh, you know, the features of the hotel here. So what I like about the production meetings is that, you know, there's no wasted time, there's no wasted effort. You know, Dale comes in, shows us a scope, you know, gets us ramped up about that and then pretty much just turns us loose. Um, and then we figure out how we're gonna build it, how it needs to be engineered, how it needs to be drawn up. And then that's how we design it and that's how it gets sent to the engineer. We've had about 14 different versions of this artwork. Yeah, that next page, yeah, which you can't barely see the green, but there's a dotted green line around all the openings and the three sides. <laughs> I know, it's, the, it's there. <laughs> So let's talk about how we're going to build this thing. All right. First thing I see that is make these plates one solid. We get more weld along here, and we also have a little bit more wiggle room if we need to adjust a little bit. So based on the engineering that was provided to us, the main sign is going to be bolted through the parking structure on these big plates that we're going to make, which they had it originally engineered as tabs. We decided to change that to a plate to make it a little bit overkill. And then how big is our plate? One I think that a foot. Yeah. Foot foot. And the sign's only 13 and a half. Yep. Uh, wow. Well, not a whole lot of room in there. So Rick's been building, installing signs for a long time. You can really tell that the the mounting plate set up the way it's being proposed. It just really isn't sitting well with him. So it'd have to be 12 inches plus the four, you know, plus the two on each side for the aluminum frame to be able to hide that thing all the way in without coping. So we're add another two and a half. Or else we gotta slot the angle where each one of these goes. So the, the original design had the, the sign at 13 and a half inches. The problem is I have to inset a 12 inch plate that is what is mounting the sign. So if I the only way I could do that would be to cope out the frame and then I lose all integrity in the frame. I don't know if the, the customer would be... But to make it 16 make inches instead of, let's do it. I wouldn't even say anything, we just build it. And I mean, that's... It'll, you know, yeah, it'll I don't be the think same. there'd be any difference. Now that's, I think it's better hiding them inside and we don't see all this yeah. steel yeah. crap outside there. Yeah, and I'll, I can change that and rescale it. Well, I was concerned specifically about the mounting system because if there's ever a critical point that can fail, it's gonna be the supports and the mounting brackets, and that would be bad. Who's doing that welding? So probably the biggest change that came out of the meeting was the fact on the small blade sign. There were two different kinds of brackets that we were using. Um, the smaller sign was originally gonna use kind of a sandwich style bracket that went directly through the lean-up concrete. We realized that it was probably better to just go ahead and over-engineer this and make it a little bit more 
on the sturdy side. And so we went to the same style bracket we were using on the larger sign where it's basically going to sandwich the large pillar and there's gonna be over four feet of concrete in between instead of just the eight inches. Pretty high end job, y'all. I like this. It's not, shouldn't be too bad for the build. Uh, the sign's pretty simple. It's a, it's a little complicated on the install. We gotta be real exact on all of our, all of our measurements gotta be exact so we get out in the field and don't have any surprises. Yeah. I mean, I know we'll have some, but <laughs> yeah, let's some try surprises. to minimize it. I don't think that Dale and Rick are thinking about the actual movement of the cabinet. I mean, they're thinking about the installation, which could be a problem. But the other problems that could arise from this is, I need 300 feet to build this thing. 300 square feet. That's 10 feet wide, 30 feet long. And now it's about to be 2,600 pounds. And I don't have any way to move that. So I'm gonna need to figure out how we're gonna move it, how we're taking it to the spray booth, how we're mounting it in the spray booth, how's Renee gonna paint it, how we get it back out of there, and then on the trailer and to the job site. It's an immense sign. And it has to be in one piece. This has a potential to be a nightmare build. On our first site survey, we went out to try to get an idea of exactly what we were dealing with because some of the drawings were a little bit confusing. So we went out and took a thousand different measurements and four different pages worth because we don't want to build a sign that we can't end up putting up because it doesn't fit. And then the nuts welded to the plate. So, so the purpose of them going out and doing a second plate, site survey is now that we've got the basic engineering of the so sign and figured out exactly how we want to mount it, now it's a matter of getting the fabricators that are going to actually build this thing out there so they can get their eyes on it and kind of wrap their head around the entire project and see if they have any options that would be better or changes that they'd like to make based on what we've already done. You have to bust the window out over there. <laughs> For what? All right, from the pole there, from the middle of the pole, we have eight inches that way. So we should be... Yeah, we got okay. nine and our pole's gonna way out here. Yeah, okay. So we're well away from the glass. All right, so is that what you're checking out now? If you're gonna get cranes down here, well, or that's how what, are you gonna do? We're gonna look at the logistics. They wanted to make sure we had enough horizontal distance from the end of the plate out to get it past the windows here. The sign is projecting out in front of the building like that. And we have steel pipes coming in here. And when they poured these columns, they left us PVC slots slotted through here. We just gotta bust off the surface concrete and on the end of the steel pipe holding the sign is a big steel plate and there's a plate on this side so it's going to sandwich it with the alternate and that's what's going to hold the whole sign up. Logistically, are there any problems you see? Yeah, we have to make sure it's not windy. We don't want things swinging into the glass. It's just, and we got to make sure we have exact measurements because we're going down what? The floor below it and the floor above us. We got three places where this pipe comes through and these holes are already drilled. So we got to make sure it all lines up perfect when we bring that sign in here. The biggest thing is coordinate it in and get it in, slide it in at the right, nice and slow, till we get the all threads through it. It's going to be fun. That's where they have the little cutout in the cement. It just shows the rebar in there a little bit. You don't have to worry about it because you're not going into it. But no, we're not you going know, into this. Just see what's in there, you know? See where it... <laughs> hey, some engineer said it holds. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not an engineer. What are your biggest concerns about all this? Uh, you know, I think it's just um, safety at this point. You know, I think the engineering, we've done all the back work and all, everything we need to do, design everything like that. So it's really safety at this point and making sure everything's done right. So that's my biggest How concern. How do you feel about these guys? Excellent. They're the best of the best, best in the industry. So that's why we, uh, we're using the architects using them. I did the design and, and they were my, my first thought. So Media One's awesome. Okay, so now we're down here on the ground level uh, of where the 10 foot by 30 foot sign goes way the hell up there where we just were. And we're just kind of finding out where we're going to park our equipment, where our bucket trucks are going to go. We're going to have a snorkel lift down here to lift the actual sign up. Just kind of seeing where placement's going to be, make sure we're not going to be interrupting any traffic or anything like that. But uh, take a look at that up that building, man. I'm excited to see that thing go up. That's going to be really nice. How worried are you about the wind? We're not worried about the winds at all. I mean, it's been engineered to withstand, I think, a 137 mile an hour wind load. At least. Yeah. So, yeah, so, I, you know, I mean, a hurricane comes through here, man, that building is going to crumble before that sign will come <laughs> off of it, you know, especially how we're bolting it yeah. in there. How about yeah. doing installation, though? 
win during installation. I'll let Rick handle that. I'm just going to go sell something else. <laughs> That's what he tells me. Hey, man. I try to get into the install part of it. He's like, go sell something. Go I got this. Something. You do. So, I'll, uh, I don't know. So, you you're have to talk not to Rick worried. About it. Now, he, not, might, he, he might He's not going to sleep the night before. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be up all night. No, it's cool. We've, we've done big stuff like this. I don't, I don't think it's anything, you know, that's unusual. Now, it is right downtown, smack in the middle of Orlando. You know, so that kind of puts its own little challenges up. And obviously, it's an open, active bank and a, you know, beautiful building down here. So, we got to be real clean, real careful. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think it's going to go great. It's just, uh, you know, you have to be careful. And that's it. Hey, Rick. Yes, sir. Like the wind you're feeling right now, would this be a problem with the install? Yes. Yeah, we're not, we wouldn't put it up if the wind's blowing like this. Because that thing's a big sail, and we got, got to be pretty precise. And we got glass right there. So, yeah, if the wind's like this, we're not setting it. It's got to be calm. See, I told you I was just going to have to go sell something. I'd put that thing up right now. All right, Dale's our, Dale's our, he's our lead. Stuff, he's our right? lead right now. I could be at the bottom holding that, holding oh, that no, rope. If you're out like here, you got to be up in the snorkel on top of this thing. Up. <laughs> and the thing. Flying up. The other side yeah. over here is not. Yeah, exactly. I think the other side we won't need a crane. Well, you know, it's it's got big holes in the middle of the sign. I mean, how much wind load can it have? Well, you want me to calculate that? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I can do the calculation. It's only a few thousand pounds. That is pretty heavy right now. I'm, the wind. Yeah, exactly. Man, I think that building's moving. Yeah, it might be a little windy right now. We basically came out today to look at the site of actually where we're going to be drilling, where we're going to be bolting so that we have a better picture in our head how it's going to be installed. I mean, if we hadn't come out here, you know, we would have shown up install day and there that electric would have been in the way now we're skunked for the day because somebody has to come move the electric that we didn't know about it adds another layer of perspective when we're trying to build something off a two-dimensional piece of paper that has to interact with a three-dimensional space It'd be interesting it shouldn't be that bad now we just got to build it i hope we're not being too optimistic about this build because those are some pretty massive signs i know man after being down there and looking at that building up there it's like straight in downtown orlando it's going to be a high profile job and those things are massive going 50 feet in the air you might be right but make sure you guys tune in for next week and find out how difficult this build really is Not for the hard part. It just gains 600 pounds. It's just gonna try and run away from us. And then we're all gonna get smashed. If it starts to go, I'm jumping in the hole and getting the f out of the way. You guys are on your own. Going down. Apparently the painters saw horses just weren't up for it. So we can't slide it through the door. How are you gonna get this sign onto this rack? I have no idea.